Well, 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 who let all of you beautiful people in here? Today, we are watching The Quest, a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie where he plays an old man telling us about when he was young and fertile. It's like if Bloodsport and Forrest Gump had a baby, but not really. <laughs> it's not even like that at all. Okay, let's go find this thing out because this is Red Eye Reviews. You all remember Frank Dukes, the guy that Bloodsport is based on who claimed it was all true, even though it definitely wasn't true? Well, he sued JCVD over this movie because he claimed to have written it with Jean-Claude under a different title. JCVD said that this is a totally different movie, and that's all he had to say. Dukes lost the legal battle. However, he did get a story credit for this movie. So, I don't know, maybe this was a real story, too. We start with some old guy walking into a bar, and I wonder who this guy could be. A little taste of whiskey in that coffee. What do you say? That's nice. I guess it's, I don't know, just some guy. Something tells me he can do impressive splits, though. I do have a good vibe about him. What the hell are you going to do, old man? Drool on me? <laughs> oh, shit. It's our man. Wow. Buddy, the cocaine really packed on some years, huh? But while he is in the bar, these hooligans decide to rob the place, and this old man kicks their asses. Where did you learn to fight like that? And the music kind of makes me feel like I'm about to be accepted into Yale. Or so, like, Sean Astin is about to start monologuing out of nowhere. But we fall back in time. We see some monks delivering these things that they're sort of like Willy Wonka's golden ticket, except instead of showing up and getting chocolate, you get punched in the face. Here are some of the contestants. Uh, this guy who fights with a car antenna. This man who just emptied half of that tub's water. Old timey boxer guy. And uh, this fine dining server who fought his boss in the middle of the restaurant. We cut to JCVD. He is a street clown who juggles and, you know, police hate juggalos. I mean, sorry, jugglers. Uh, well, to be fair, they probably hate both those groups. We see this was a distraction, so this child can steal a man's bro purse. Did I tell you what? We're rich. But these gangsters show up. They demand the satchel back. Van Damme ignores the safety of these children and attacks the group. <laughs> and gets this baby freaking shot. Like, like a small child just got shot. So, you know, that's bad. The children see their chance to get rid of JC. And they're like, get out of here. Can't you see we don't want you anymore? Now go! And here's where the story gets crazy because he falls on a boat, he gets knocked out. He wakes up, he sees these pirates, he sees the ocean, he looks at it like he's never seen such a large body of water before. And then in a hilarious turn, they make him a slave. Uh, it turns out they've never done that before. <laughs> he's, he's the only slave on the boat. And, like, they really didn't have anything needed doing. So he just carries heavy sacks back and forth around the boat. Oh, it's so funny. But then, cannon fire. And I can't quite figure out who's the bad guy in this scenario. I don't know, maybe they all are. We're not sure yet, but Double O Ahab sees JC fight, and he's like, oh, damn. I'm going to use that man to my advantage. Mine stops. Law stops. If you didn't know, Sir Roger Moore played Bond, James Bond. And uh, that's a clear reference. But they take JC aboard. He's like, oh, shit, I'm free. Finally. And then Ahab's like, oh, wait, no. 
Sorry, no, I'm, I'm actually gonna sell you to this island of misfit Muay Thai fighters. No need to thank us. And uh, he does that, and you know, that's his life for about six months. We cut to our man again. He has evolved. He's got a headband thingy cord thing. He's looking good. He sees James Bond, and he is mad at James because of what happened. And he says, you owe me. Get me into that Willy Wonka tournament that we saw earlier. And James Bond is like, I can do that. Uh, also, I met this lady. She will provide no value to the story. But we need her because the party's getting a little dude heavy. They run into our typical old-timey boxer, you see. And he's gullible as shit, you see. Edgar Dobbs of the Gang Gang Committee and Christopher Dubois, your personal ballet. He lets them tag along to the secret Kumite, but not Kumite. And then even though they took a train, apparently they're still nowhere near where they need to be. So they take elephants, and they're cool, but they're not fast. They take some horses. Uh, they walk at one point. At this point, we might not even be in the same country. Well, I always say one should never eat on an empty stomach. However, we finally arrive. We see one of the most terrifying men who doesn't have a single line in the entire movie. Hey, pal. Scram. His mustache looks like the Batman symbol, and it's awesome. And then finally, our boxer's getting the idea that maybe JCVD isn't here to help him, but to try and take his spot. You want some? So he's like, what? You're gonna fight me? And he gets his ass kicked. He gets it kicked so hard, he not only gives Van Damme his entry into the tournament, he gets on a horse and he leaves. He's out of here. Is this what you're after? We enter the temple. We see a blimp. Uh, I'm sure that won't come into play at some point. Fang Prahan of Siam. Maxi Divine of America. Maxi Divine, heavyweight champion of the world. And he's back. <laughs> he's back. His ego is so bruised, he has returned with his world champion belt just to give it to JC. Who knew it was that easy to win the title? And now the tournament begins. And it is pretty quick, so I'm just going to summarize it. Soviet Union versus Spain. Spaniard is drunk. He thinks he's fighting a bull. E Honda fights a little person, and it's very one sided. A Jabberwocky fights a human bumblebee. This dude who has never eaten bread before fights a ginger, beats him with the old fashioned dick twister. The man who doesn't know how to wear a jock strap fights the warrior of Africa, because apparently Africa is a country according to this tournament. So I am against Africa. We're just gonna breeze past that. Then, US versus Germany. Rocky versus Drago. No. And JC is losing until Boxer Man shouts the name of a city. New York City! And he's like, that's right. That is a place. Ah! ah. Yeah. Round two. E Honda fights a turkey. Uh, sorry, uh, he fights a guy from Turkey. Ah. Half time, we get a quick break dance fight. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> And now we get that part in Bloodsport where the main guy kills our best friend. Only in this movie, it's just one of the dudes from the Muay Thai Love Island. Oh. 
and we're supposed to care, but we really don't. James Bond and Wormtongue realize JC stands no chance against the Mongolian beast, and they want him to throw the fight so that he can help them steal that giant golden dragon out front. And JC would throw the fight, but he's fighting the Spaniard who's like, Olay. And he thinks bullfighting is cruel as shit, and it has no place in modern society, and I have no idea why it still exists. I mean, why JC VD thinks all of that stuff. So he kicks his ass. Outside, the thieves offer the Goodyear blimp a cut of the dragon money, and, you know, this is pre Super Ball blimpy, so he needs the cash. <laughs> Turns out, blimps are no match for pointy things, and the plan is quickly thwarted. And the price of this betrayal is death. Jean-Claude asks that if he does win, can they be set free in exchange for the golden dragon? The monks quickly agree because that dragon is worth so much more than those two clowns. It is a no-brainer. They'll go free. You'll keep the dragon. So be it. So... Final fight starts. JC watched Rocky to prepare for the fight, but then he remembered that Rocky got his ass kicked in the first movie, so he is screwed. <laughs> Putting aside the fact that everyone in the room has gathered way too closely... <laughs> Jean-Claude tries the next American technique of buying himself some time by saying, let's take this outside. And the guy's confused, you know, because they're already fighting, but not one to back down from a challenge. He agrees to take this outside. <laughs> However, the fresh air did not improve our boy's odds much. It's not looking good. His friends give him encouragement, including that one lady who we all forgot about and literally provides absolutely nothing to the story. You know, other than lowering the sausage party percentage down a few pegs. And our man has a concussion, but he did beat the Mongolian. But what? A plan. A perfect plan. And he rescues his friends, which I'm not sure why he likes them at all to begin with, but whatever. Just fine. All right. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I totally forgot this entire story was being told by that wrinkly old Van Damme. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's over. It's over. And uh, not one set of splits in this movie, which is why I'm giving it a 1 out of 10 Golden Dragons. No splits, no sir. Let's get this over with over on Red Eye Reacts. I love how he stops the henchmen from interfering with the fight, and he's like, I was not going to stop them. Uh, just look at me. It's a young Goodyear blimp. He's all cute. It's in the years before he got dolled up and painted. When I got the invitation to come here, and I decided I was going to see the American flag flying at the end of this thing. You do realize JC is not American, right? Uh, I'm just checking. I raised the... Union jacking countries you never even heard of. Oh, all those countries you've never heard of, like the country of Africa, maybe. That is it. Thank you so much. If you liked it, hit the subscribe button, like it with a thumbs up, like it with a shout, open your window, and just say I like it. That helps me out too, I guess. Leave some comments. Who else thinks E Honda should have won? I do. I forgot to cover that, but he lost. I just assumed you got there on your own. If you want the power to vote on future movie reviews, be a patron. Head to that page, link down below. Support me, support the channel, get some cool merch if you want. It's all there. If you want to join Discord, link down below. Merch store down below. I will see you all next time, and until then, stay happy and stay healthy. Ah! Oh!